First of all, I want to say that Stack Overflow is a great resource and of course you're going to be using it when you're building cool projects, but it won't always be there to save you and it shouldn't have to save you. I'm personally trying to lean off my Stack Overflow usage and in this video I'm going to outline how and why I'm doing it and why it might be a good reason for you to do so as well. The first reason is that learning things by yourself is just going to be better. It's going to stick around in your head a lot longer, this is true with math, physics, basically anything where you're solving problems, if you're doing it by yourself it's gonna stick around in your head a lot longer. If you're writing code and you run into a problem, an error, and you're debugging it by yourself, you come up with a solution yourself without resorting to Stack Overflow, that's gonna stick around in your head a lot longer than if you just went to Stack Overflow and blindly copy pasted something. Now, of course, there will be times where you have to go to Stack Overflow because you just don't have the prerequisite knowledge, but in those cases, it's probably best not to just blindly copy paste and actually read through the comment that the whatever user made and try and understand what their answer is and then use the code that they gave you, even if the user is really rude about the way they actually answered the question. It's gonna help you out a lot if you're not copy pasting, and this is something I've really had to just like hammer into my head recently, because otherwise I would just copy paste, and then I understand what was going on, and it was just a whole mess. But if you are going to the trouble of actually taking the time to understand these Stack Overflow answers or just come up with the solutions yourself, most of the time, because you will have time crunches sometimes where you just need to copy paste, but if you do that, you'll find yourself getting better a lot quicker. And that's what I've noticed in the last few months that I've been trying to lean off my Stack Overflow usage and it's honestly been great. Another problem with the whole copy pasting thing is you're gonna run into the purple link scenario. This is when you Google something, you Google an error and then you run into a purple link and it's just super discouraging to me at least. I don't know about you guys, but it is very discouraging to me because the way I view it is as something that's just telling me, hey, you already ran into this problem. You already found the solution probably multiple times, but you still can't figure it out yourself. You still don't remember how to do it. And honestly, there's just nothing worse to me than running into a purple link because it's just really discouraging. And oftentimes purple links are related to, you know, basic syntactic issues or basic like foundational concepts. And in those cases, you know, they're fine and easy to fix because sometimes you're just like, ah, it's fine. I don't really need to know the syntax and you can just Google it whenever, but you should take the time to just properly learn the syntax. And this is a problem I ran into a few times, but it's whatever. But in the cases where it's not, you know, basic syntax or foundational concepts, then it gets a little more troubling because it's a complex error and you don't really know how to approach it yourself at all. You don't even understand it when you read what the commenter is saying. In these cases, what I like to do is just open up a doc, write down what led to my problem, how I actually tried to solve it by myself initially, and then the actual Stack Overflow answer. So the next time I run into that same problem, I'm not going to be just immediately hopping to Google I'm gonna look through my own notes, just search my notes, find what I'm looking for, and then read through what I tried initially, and then go to the Stack Overflow answer. Doing this a few times, I've done this a few times, has helped me actually get a better understanding, and I'm trying and starting to reduce those purple links that I've been seeing. It's been really helpful, and I think you guys should try it out as well if you have the time or are willing to do so. You know, it's one of those bits of advice that makes a lot of sense when you hear it out loud, but it's a lot harder to actually follow through on than just listening to it. Also, sometimes Stack Overflow just doesn't have the answer because you're working on code for an internal project at your company or whatever, and obviously nobody else is using those internal libraries, so you don't have Stack Overflow to refer to. When I was working on my internship this summer, I was using a lot of internal libraries, and that was a problem for me initially because I couldn't have Stack Overflow to rely on. So I had to be a wild explorer and go through the documentation, figure out what was going on, and then actually read through some of the code in the internal libraries when there wasn't documentation to try and figure out what was going on in my own code. And that was just a real process at first, but it gave me a lot of skills in understanding how to read code and understanding documentation and properly, you know, just getting a good understanding of what the heck I'm actually doing rather than being copy paste stack overflow monkey. It helped a ton. And I've been doing this a lot recently in my own side projects where I would just take some time and actually read code to understand exactly what's happening. Of course, you know, this is a little bit all over the place, but the main point that you need to take away from this section is that in the absence of documentation, you need to be good at reading code. And in the absence of, you know, Stack Overflow, you need to be good at writing doc or reading documentation. If you have good attributes, like both of those good attributes, then you're gonna be really, really good at solving problems quickly. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get to a point where I'm really good at both of those things so that I'm really good at solving problems quickly. And so that I need to look at Stack Overflow even less and less and less as time goes on. 
That's all I really have to say. Hopefully I stick to my goal of becoming less dependent on Stack Overflow and hopefully I convince some of you guys to do the same. But that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe. It'll help me and the channel out a ton. Thank you so much for watching again. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.